Let's talk about protomorphogens. Protomorphogens are cellular blueprints for cells to develop healthy tissues. They come from the nucleus of the cell and they can serve multiple purposes. One as nutrition for trace minerals and nutrient uh, proteins in, the, in there that help with nutrients of the cell. Secondly, they serve as a decoy meaning that if there's an autoimmune attack on the cell, these can step in the middle and reduce the attack on the organ by leaving it alone to heal. So it essentially decoys the immune system, the immune system beats up on this and leaves the tissue alone to heal. They can also be a rich source of something called microRNA, which helps regulate gene expression in the cells and they can reduce oral tolerance, meaning you can get less and less sensitive to that tissue by consuming this. So those are the four ways that uh, protomorphogens can act. They can be really amazing products and we use them all the time on autoimmunity. They're not for every single case, but they sure help, especially they help bite us time and calm down an autoimmune response until we can fix some of the underlying factors. So let's go through some of the uh, protomorphogens that standard process has. One is dermatrophin, and dermatrophin would be for epithelial cells. That could be the lining of your stomach, but also your skin. And so anytime there's an autoimmune attack on, on skin or epithelial cells, we wanna use dermatrophin if it's appropriate and if it tests out for us with the reflex testing we do. Drenotrophin would be for your adrenal glands when there's a, an autoimmune attack on your adrenal glands, and that can be one of the causes of different adrenal gland imbalances. Hepatotrophin is for liver cells, so any kind of liver issues that may be needed. One we use a lot, hypothalamus PMG. Our hypothalamus is the control center in our brain, which has two-way communication with our immune system, with our hormones, with our autonomic nervous system, and our emotional processing centers. Things that can mess up the hypothalamus could be things like birth control pills and chronic stress, those kinds of things. So we'll often use hypothalamus PMG there. Mammary PMG, that's for breast tissue. So ladies, uh, we can often use that. Myotrophin and cardiotrophin are virtually the same product and they are for muscle. Myo referring to muscle, the cardiotrophin PMG is for heart, but the heart is a muscle. So they're essentially the same product to take autoimmune attack off the muscle. The one that we probably use most as a chiropractor in working with brain health is neurotrophin PMG. This can be super helpful in those that have had head trauma because one of the, one of the theories in um, brain autoimmunity is that if we've had head trauma, we get bleeding outside the areas of the brain where blood should be, and the immune system sees that blood in there as, as something abnormal and sets up an autoimmune attack in the brain. And often in those cases, we'll use neurotrophin PMG. So lots of different neurological issues, we will use neurotrophin PMG. Then for eye issues, we can use oculotrophin PMG. So that takes autoimmune attack off the eyes. Orchic PMG refers to the testicles, and so this is a product for men. Um, sometimes men with low, low sperm counts or low testosterone are having an autoimmune attack against the testes, and this can be very useful in those cases. Ostrophin PMG relates to bone. So if we're having autoimmune attack or we need blueprint factors to build healthy bone, we could use this product, osteotrophin PMG. Ovotrophin PMG, obviously that's for the ovaries and that can give the blueprint factors and take autoimmune attack off the ovaries. Pancreatrophin PMG would be for the pancreas and serve as a decoy for autoimmune attack on the pancreas. Parotid PMG is an interesting thing, and we'll use that often for toxins, even especially heavy metal issues. And why? Because the parotid gland is in the mouth. It's the first line of defense against any, any toxins coming into our mouth 
for any uh, infections coming in through our mouth. So parotid PMG, pituitrophin PMG, so the pituitary sits right below the hypothalamus that we already discussed and it signals our endocrine glands, our ovaries, our testes, our adrenals, and our thyroid. So pituitrophin PMG can be really helpful in hormonal issues. Prostate PMG, so that can help take autoimmune attack off the prostate serve as a blueprint factor for prostate issues and be very useful for any prostate issues. Renatrophin PMG is for the kidneys and so that can help uh, serve those, uh, those factors, blueprint factors and autoimmune attack for the kidneys. Spleen PMG, our spleen is a main autoimmune organ and a main immune organ and so this can really, really help us uh, with those kinds of issues with any kind of immune issue. And lots of chronic issues that were not responding well for when we get support the spleen, they turn around. Thyrotrophin PMG is for the thyroid gland to take autoimmune off the thyroid gland. And it's a commonly used one for us as well. Eutrophin PMG is for the uterus and that takes autoimmune attack off there. And there's a couple I didn't have in stock, so let me see which ones I'm missing here. One is pneumotrophin PMG, and that is for the lungs. And then the only other one that I'm missing is thymus PMG, and that is for the thymus gland, which sits behind the sternum. The thymus gland is so important in autoimmunity because the thymus gland relates to central tolerance, and that's a big word. That means the thymus is supposed to decide which cells are healthy and which cells are beating up on us and get rid of those cells that are beating up on us. So that's central tolerance. So the thymus PMG can be extremely important there. So that's a little bit about the PMGs. There's a couple combination PMGs. They are simplex M, simplex F, and paraplex. And those are related to the autonomic nervous system and to the hormonal system. So simplex M is for men and simplex F is for ladies. And paraplex is more to support the uh, parasympathetic nervous system. Now, these uh, products can work extremely well in helping people with autoimmune issues and we want you to know about that. Uh, some people have heard about it. I get asked about it sometimes with patients who haven't started our nutritional programs with us but they've heard about them someplace and so they will buy us some time while we can fix the underlying factors and then we can really help a person get healthy. So protomorphogens or PMGs from Standard Process have a huge role in helping us with autoimmune issues and if you want to learn more about autoimmunity watch our autoimmune playlist on YouTube or here on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we look forward to helping you in the future. We do see patients from multiple states, people that come in for a week or two at a time and we find out what's going on for them. We get their brain and immune system targeted on the right antigen or bad guy and we get them on the right nutritional support so that they can go home and begin the process of healing. I'm Dr. Michael Winters, Winters Wellness, Chiropractic Redefined.